Hello, I am Nilesh Gawande and I am going to give a video presentation on the marker assisted selection for the low phytate maize. Firstly, we are going to see what is meant by the phytic acid and what is the role of phytic acid in the seeds of the plants. Phytic acid or myinositol 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexakisphosphate is the major storage form of the phosphorus and myinositol in most of the seeds of the plants, like maize. This phytic acid is called as a phytate when it is present in the form of mixed salt of the mineral cations like potassium, calcium, zinc, iron and magnesium. Now we will see what is the need of this developing the low phytate maize. In most commercial non-ruminant animals like poultry and swines feed on the crops like maize, legumes and soya beans. This phosphorus and inositol in the form of phytate is not digested by the non-ruminant animals because these animals lack the enzyme phytates. Moreover, this phytate chillage the micronutrients like iron and magnesium and makes unabsorbable to the animals. By developing the low phytate maize, we can reduce the supplementation cost of the livestock like poultry and swines and also we can reduce the malnutrition caused by the micronutrients like iron and zinc. There are some methods to develop the low phytate maize among which marker assisted selection the most convenient and the efficient method. Here we can see the two inbred lines. This is the UMI 395 which is used as an inbred and female parent. Here we can see the UMI 285 which is also used as a recurrent parent. Now this is the LPA2 mutant line EC659418 which is used as a pollen donor or male parent. Here we can see the different cobs. This is the cob of our inbred lines UMI285 and UMI395 and this is the cob of our LPA2 mutant EC659418. Now we will see the overall procedure or integration of the LPA2 loci in our inbred line. Here our inbred UMI395 is used as a recurrent parent and our LPA2 mutant is used as a donor parent. From this the F1 hybrid was developed and it is again crossed with our inbred. In this way the BC1 F1 population was developed and similarly the BC2 F1 population was developed. Here the selection of the plants was done by using the SSR markers. After this the selfing is done between the cops of the BC2 F1 and the segregating progenies homozygous for the LPA2 region using the foreground markers were selected. Selected progenies were tested using the background markers to recover the maximum of the parental genome. Now this marker assisted selected inbreds can be used for the LPA2 hybrid synthesis. We can cross these marker assisted selected inbreds with popular inbreds so as to increase the vigor in the obtaining hybrid. Parental survey for the foreground SSR markers was conducted and it was found that markers were distributed in the 1.05 bean location in short arm of first chromosome of the maize. Marker UMC2230 which is closely linked to the LPA2 locus at a distance of about 0.4 cm organ was selected as a foreground marker and used in screening of the F1 hybrid and backcross progenies. Here we can see how the silk and tassel are covered to avoid the self-pollination in our inbred lines. The brown bag is used for covering the tassel and white bag is used for covering the silk. Now we will see how the crossing is done. Before the day of crossing, in the evening, the tassel of the desired plant is covered with a brown paper bag. On the next day morning, the tassel is removed and the pollens are collected. You can see how the pollens are collected in this bag. After the collection of the pollens, it is dusted on the silk. Here we can see how the pollens are dusted on the silk. After the completion of the process, the bag is covered and it is labeled with the date and the parent's name. Here we can see the maize plants which were covered with the bags after shedding of the pollen. And this is the F1 hybrid which is developed by using the UMI 285 as an inbred line. And this is the F1 hybrid which is developed by using the UMI 395 as an inbred line. The F1 hybrid developed were subjected to the estimation of the phytic acid and inorganic phosphorus content. 
Here in the F1, develop by using our inbred UMI 395U and LP2 mutant, we can see there is low level of the phytic acid. Also, the inorganic phosphorus content was determined by using the HEPA-C. This is the BC2 F1 population which is developed by using the inbred UMI 285. And this is the BC2 F1 population which is developed by using the UMI 395 as an inbred. These are the cops which are developed during the BC2 F1 population of our inbred line UMI 285. And these are the cops developed in BC2F1 population of the UMI 395 inbred.